Hey, Sarah with Tucson Electric Power, and it's time for your quick history of EV, or electric vehicles. Now, you might be thinking that electric vehicles are pretty new, but they aren't. The very first simple electric vehicles were developed in the 1830s. After a few generations of inventors around the world continuing to improve on the technology, things like this 1890s Morrison electric automobile were created. Think about that. In the 1890s, many rural parts of the United States didn't even have electricity, yet inventors were already designing and building their own batteries for electric vehicles. In fact, by the turn of the century, electric vehicles made up around one-third of all vehicles on the road. They were very popular in cities because they were quieter and didn't emit smelly pollutants. However, with the limitations of the early battery technology, gasoline-powered vehicles had a much longer range. Enter the first hybrids in 1901. Yep, you heard me right. In 1901, Ferdinand Porsche, founder of the sports car by the same name, created the Loner Porsche Mix, the world's first hybrid electric car. The vehicle was powered by electricity stored in a battery and a gasoline engine. Unfortunately for our early EVs, the introduction of Henry Ford's Model T and the discovery of cheap Texas crude oil helped fuel a rise in cheaper gasoline vehicles. It took until the mid-century when gas prices soared to create a big new interest in EVs. The electric vehicles of the 1960s and 70s were smaller cars geared toward urban dwellers and had ranges of around 60 miles. Oh yeah, and when NASA needed a vehicle to explore the moon because you can't burn fossil fuels in space, electric was the only way to go. Unfortunately, the EVs of the 60s and 70s didn't take off, but they laid the groundwork for the next generation of electric vehicles in the mid-1990s. The electric GM EV1 and the hybrid Toyota Prius revitalized the interest in hybrid and electric vehicles. Since then, every year, more and more companies have released better and better hybrids and all-electric vehicles. And with battery technologies continuing to improve, many of today's EVs can go 150 to 400 miles or more without charging. But cars aren't the only form of electric transportation. Back in the early 1900s, TEP owned and operated electric-powered light rail running through downtown Tucson to the University of Arizona. That's why we were so excited to partner on the SunLink Streetcar Project, a modern electric streetcar that runs on some of the old electric light rail routes. Ever used one of these funny scooters downtown? Yep, you guessed it. The E stands for electricity. Like all new technologies, as time goes by, the costs drop, bringing us to today where you can get an all-electric vehicle for nearly the same price as a comparably equipped gasoline vehicle when factoring in future gasoline and maintenance savings. Electricity is such a huge part of our lives. It powers everything in our homes while keeping us comfortable in all seasons. In the future, electricity and electric vehicles will become a larger part of personal transportation. As the technology continues to evolve and change, the best way to stay up to date on the current information about electric vehicles and incentives for chargers is to visit TEP.com.